they shouldn't be coming out with comments like that because it's a dangerous sport and things bad can happen to wish you know you're talking about that and stuff like that it's a um, it just doesn't sit right does it This is Jonathan Agger, fifth pro boxing fans, joined by Joe McNally here in New York ahead of a huge fight this Saturday. Josh Taylor against Tiafimo Lopez. Joe, how are you feeling? Good, mate. How are you? Doing well, thanks. Uh, it was an interesting press conference uh, that we thought might get a bit more heated, but uh, first of all, what did you make of that face-off? I've never seen uh, police get involved before. Yeah, you know, well, obviously Josh's reputation of being a hot-headed Scotsman and T.O. talks a bit of smack so I think they put the security there. A little bit disappointed in the sense that it's closed to the public and you know they never even got round to asking any of the well the likes of yourself questions to, to the current champion and former champion in T.O. It got cut short you know because I think it was just T.O. rambling a bit of shite so well, it's a shame really that the public have been denied the opportunity to you know, see it themselves and ask them, but it is what it is. Tifimo, uh, Josh said in the press conference that Tifimo's made some disrespectful comments, uh, presumably talking about the kill comments that she repeated today, both up there and to reporters. Uh, did, have you found that a step too far? Yeah, you know, I think he's, as a former champion and couldn't fight her, I think he should be a little bit lot cleverer with his words in a sense that, you know, there's past and couldn't fighters. There was one the other week fighting a, another Liverpool fighter, Nick Ball, you know, fell fell in an hospital after the fight and he shouldn't be coming out with comments like that because it's a dangerous sport and things bad can happen to wish, you know, you're talking about that and stuff like that. It's a, it just doesn't sit right, does it? So but look, that's his that's his style, that's what he wants. Um, hopefully Josh makes him pays for it Saturday. And uh, Josh has said since joining you he's felt at home with you and the guys in the gym. Uh, how would you say your relationship with him's developed and how did it all start? Well, it started with this man right next to me here, Terry McCormick, who's produced Josh. He's been with him from day one, with him every professional fight he's had. Um, he, the, he produced the Josh Taylor, he produced the champion. I believe everyone's been part of his journey, um, you know, said he reached out and we linked up and put it together but you know the relationship's magnificent um, I've, I've knew, kept me an eye on him since he was an amateur obviously coming through and you know we, we just clicked straight away and, and here we are yeah, yeah. When you take a fighter who's a current world champion, former undisputed world champion, how much can you and do you want to change in that fighter? Nothing is, there, is it then more sort of... Surely there's some aspects are you, that you're adding to his game, no? Yeah, look, at the end of the day, I, I won't sit here and talk shit and lie and go, I can do this. You're going to give every fighter a different look, but he's the undisputed champion of the world. If he can't get in there and fucking get out and box now, you know, it's he's, what, what's he going to do? Get him to be the best, the best version of himself and... You know, get him fit, ready, condition right, make sure he hits all his targets and, you know, polish up a little few things and, you know, make Josh Taylor be Josh Taylor. Don't reinvent him. He's the undisputed champion of the world for a reason and, you know, if he doesn't know how to get in there, fighting the inside, in the pocket, medium range, long range, counterpoints to, you know, he, he wants to retire, doesn't he? But there's nothing a man cannot do and, you know, he'll come out and perform Saturday night and if he does perform he'll come out with a fantastic victory and then uh, how, and how, how highly do you rate Tiafimo Lopez? very highly like every fighter he's got his flaws um, flaws that we're looking to capitalise on but he's a fantastic fighter a bit similar to Josh in a sense that you know turned professional after the, the Olympics in 2016 and he's achieved a lot in the sport as a young man at 25 years old and you know credit to him he's he's you know he's a, he's a marvel in himself and we've showed him the respect and prepared diligently and you know I think it makes for a, for, for a fantastic fight Saturday and uh, finally do you have a prediction for the fight and how you expect it to play out yeah Josh Taylor win 
every day of the week, twice on a Sunday. And uh, actually, just final one, uh, Liam Smith uh, obviously uh, had an injury. How's he doing? And what do you think will be next? Hopefully Chris Eubank, you know, I haven't spoke to Liam that much while I've been over here. He went, he's been, um, you know, funny enough, this is where his public workout was. I believe, you know, I don't really like to sing praises, but, you know, Matchroom done it a lot better than this. And yeah, credit to Matchroom and the zone, but... Yeah, he's, in, he's, he's, he's on the mend and when I get back we'll catch up, um, have a meeting and, you know, hopefully his, his rematch with Chris comes to fruition sometime soon. Joe, wish you the very best of luck and I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the time here in New York. Take care. Thank you. Yeah.